fit testing is an important step in keeping you safe when wearing a respirator. The goal is to find a respirator that fits your face and provides a tight seal. We'll explain what should happen during a qualitative or quantitative fit test for a disposable respirator, like an N95 or KN95. While there are many differences between the two methods, there are some similarities. First, you'll need to complete a health screening form to confirm you are physically fit to wear and use a respirator. Second, you should be clean-shaven where the respirator touches your face. Third, the tester must confirm that the respirator is comfortable and provides a consistent seal. The tester will also verify that you know how to use the respirator properly and that you can perform a user seal check. Fourth, any other PPE that could affect the respirator, like safety glasses, should be worn during the fit test. Finally, after the test, you'll need to note the make, model, and size of respirator with which you passed. You should only wear respirators with which you have successfully been fit tested. Now, we'll outline what happens in each test. Quantitative Fit Testing the quantitative fit test method uses a fit testing machine which counts the microscopic particles inside and outside the respirator to test the seal and fit of the respirator on your face. While wearing the respirator, you'll be asked to perform seven exercises, including normal breathing, deep breathing, turning your head left to right, nodding up and down, talking out loud, bending forward at the waist, and finishing again with normal breathing. The fit test machine will prompt you when to start and stop each exercise. As you complete the exercises, the machine counts the microscopic particles inside and outside the respirator and determines a pass or fail based on the results. Qualitative Fit Testing The qualitative fit test method uses a testing hood and a bitter or sweet aerosolized challenge agent to test the seal and fit of the respirator on your face. The tester will first perform a sensitivity test to make sure you can sense the challenge agent through taste or smell. You cannot detect leaks in the respirator if you cannot sense the agent. The sensitivity test will also determine the challenge agent concentration needed. During the sensitivity test, you'll be wearing the hood but not the respirator. The tester will spray the challenge agent 10 times around the hood and ask if you sense anything. If you do not, the tester will spray the agent 10 more times. If you still do not sense it, the tester will spray a third set of 10 and record your sensitivity as 10, 20, or 30. If you do not sense the agent, the test is halted, and another fit test method, like quantitative fit testing, should be used. From here, you will put on the respirator, and the tester will spray 10, 20, or 30 sprays around the hood while you complete a set of seven exercises. This includes normal breathing, deep breathing, turning your head left to right, nodding up and down, talking out loud, bending forward at the waist, and finishing again with normal breathing. In between each exercise, the tester will spray an additional 5, 10, or 15 sprays. If you sense the agent at any time during the test, it means there is a leak and the respirator has not passed the test. Whether you choose a qualitative or quantitative fit test, it's about finding the right respirator to fit your face and protect you from the environment around you. Don't take chances with your respirator fit test. Book with Levitt Safety and find out why we're Canada's fit test leader.